Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everybody. Another beautiful, this is like a sunny, gorgeous Friday today. Oh, although it has been so cold around here. Oh my goodness. I don't know anybody else that's in Michigan. Like I think um, I'm fortunate. Hi, Marianne. How are you? You're in Iowa too, I think. And you guys have, I think, had super cold weather as well. Oh my gosh, I was saying I'm fortunate enough that I live. Hi, Barb. How are you? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you can join us. Um, I live in town, so I've been able to get out of my driveway and down the road. And, you know, it's been like I've been able to get out. But I know people that are out in the country with the, you know, all the blowing and the snow and just the super cold. A lot of people, I think, have been kind of like uh, barricaded in their homes for the past week. So, yeah, bitter cold in Iowa, Marianna say too. So, I don't spend like the whole story of the week. The kids have been off school this entire week, not one day of school. Um, yeah, and they've even called it off like the night before so they appreciate that because then they know they can stay up late and have a good time and have friends over and they've been doing sleepovers and having a good time so um, but yeah wow I'm thinking although what now it's supposed to like get up to 40 degrees and rain <laughs> so um, all this snow is I don't know what gonna melt and who knows where it's gonna go but craziness craziness and then all oh, other big news um, I shared it was on my personal on um, Facebook page but Lily my daughter after it's been almost two and a half years she got her braces off this week so it's funny because I've been looking at her smile and like seeing like oh my gosh how beautiful it is like behind the braces hi Sam how are you so it's been one of those like I'm like so excited to see her braces come off so that happened this week and it was funny because we're in the orthodontist office and I come in to pick her up and I'm like aren't they gonna throw a party or something it's been two and a half years like she's finally getting these things off you know it probably happens like every day there but I was super excited so we're like you know high-fiving and whooping it up and so it was it was fun it was um, yeah fun for her and then especially not having school too that didn't she didn't have to miss any school either which I know she was a little bit stressed out about so hi everybody everybody's saying hello thank you guys for joining us um, yeah make sure you say hello I love to kind of see who's on and say hello to everybody so um, let's see what else is going on we had a great weekend of dance last weekend that kind of kept us super busy well Lily especially all day Friday and all day or all day Saturday and all day Sunday so She's back to regular just rehearsals this weekend, and then we're out of town next weekend for more dance. Um, oh, and Cade's basketball. He's supposed to have a couple games this week, but those got canceled with school, so he's kind of been laying though. They haven't even had practice or anything, so we'll see. They'll be a little rusty probably for next week's game. So hi, Karen. How are you? I'm glad you can join us. So um, yeah, let's see. I think I've chattered a little bit. I kind of like to do that in the beginning just to wait for people to get on. Um, and as always, I have to check my notes, but I think we're good. Why don't we go ahead and let's draw. So these were in the glare. I tried to, like, my curtains, I tried to kind of move them a little bit to see if that would help us so we don't have to slide the table. But let's see. So these are the heart epoxy droplets. You can kind of see there's like a small, a medium, and a large, kind of a clear, right? Can you guys, maybe that's better if I put them on that side. I don't know. Anyway, so this is what we're going to draw for today. If you are new to Facebook Live, which I know I've been, um, I mentioned last week, I had I made a video and I think I shared it. So check that video out. My niece, Emma, um, is like just a wizard with um, working with, I think it's called iMovie. So she just did it right on her phone. I gave her a bunch of, um, you know, well, showed her where my YouTube channel was and sent her a bunch of pictures and she put this fabulous video together. So I am just so excited about it and I'm hoping that kind of, you know, can help me reach some more people. So if you see it, um, it might show up even in your Facebook feed. Um, I'd love for you to share that with people too because I'm really trying to reach out and meet some new friends because I love, I love having all of you guys on here and I really, really love when you say hello now or or if you're watching later I love to just get a quick hey Amy um, just so I know that you're watching because I, I love to kind of know who's watching and meet new people right so here I am shaking this all around drawing for the heart epoxy droplets you get one entry in the drawing for commenting anytime here on Facebook or the YouTube channel um, either place that you comment you get an entry in the drawing if you share the video you get three entries into the drawing um, let's see if you sign up for my email list if you haven't done that already you get three entries into the drawing and what else oh I picked um, I pick every week I pick one random day and this past week was Monday so any posts that I did on Monday 
if you comment or share on that post, you get three more entries in the drawing. So that's a random thing. You're going to want to post, um, you know, comment and share as much as you can on any post because you never know which day. It's a different day, potentially, uh, randomly picked each week. So here we go. Hi, Wendy. I'm glad you can join us. Hopefully you're surviving the deep freeze. We had to reschedule so many things. Um, bingo was supposed to be last week and we moved it to this week and it was still bitter cold, but many people braved the, the bitter cold if they could get out of their houses, right, or down the road. So that was fun. It was nice, I think, for everybody to get out and have a little stamping and bingo fun. So, okay, here we go. These are very well shaken at this point. All right, um, let's see. Oh, oh! Oh, yay, your boss is taking you to lunch, Wendy. Well, that's all right. Yeah, we'll go enjoy that. That's awesome. And then, yeah, you can watch later. Okay, so here we go. I think I have one. I've sh Oh, no, I have about four. Okay, I got to separate these out, so I have just one. Okay, just one in my hand. And, ooh, this is Rebecca Bullock, who I think is um, a new friend to our Facebook group. Um, I put a little YT next to this because I wanted to make sure I remembered she made a comment on the YouTube um, video that so I, I do it live here right and then I upload it to YouTube also so you guys know that too if you don't catch it live and you can't find it in the Facebook group I mean you should be able to but sometimes people like to watch on YouTube so you can always do that too so Rebecca Bullock commented on, on the YouTube channel so congratulations Miss Rebecca I will get these I'm gonna need to get your address so if you're watching this week Will you send me a message or an email? My email is Amy, A-M-Y, and then a period, and then F is in Frank, R-I-L-L-I-C-I -I at yahoo.com. I need to get your address so I can get this these mailed out to you. So congratulations, Rebecca. And I think I see Angeline. Hello, Miss Angeline. How are you doing today? Hopefully good. I bet your kids are um, home from school too, right? Um, yeah, trying to adjust for all that. My kids are old enough, they take care of themselves, so they're good. Um, they loved having the week off though, that's for sure. Um, but hopefully they're back back to school on Monday, right? So um, let's see, you guys wanna see what we're gonna draw for this week? I love these things and I have, I I'm realizing there's so many new things I haven't had a chance to play with. So I'm really like hoping in the next couple of days like I can just take some time and play. Don't you guys always feel like that too? Like you always have to work all the time. You don't have enough time to like play with your stamping products. So I'm feeling like that especially right now too. So anyway, I am hoping because I have a package of these and I really want to um, play with them. So these are, the, what are they called? I can't remember. The Floral Romance Seals. So it's kind of like, you know, if you were to um, mail, and I remember these even as a kid, I feel like I might have had a kit that had these type of things in them. So they're they're a cute seal that you can obviously put it on a card. I remember them being on like an envelope, like an envelope seal that you just kind of put that on the back flap. But aren't they, they've got um, like a little heart, or not heart, but like a little flower and some detail. And they look a little almost like handmade because they're not like, you know, perfectly circular. So they're super cute. I just can't, it's, like I said, there are so many products um, that I want to play with. So hopefully, maybe get some time this weekend. Um, let's see, Karen, she, you were saying you have a relative by that last name. Oh, oh, you're talking to Angeline, maybe. Angeline, you'll have to let Karen know. Maybe you guys know each other somehow. So anyway, so this is what we're gonna draw for next week. One entry for commenting, three entries for sharing the video. If you sign up for my email list, if you haven't already done that, another three entries. And then I pick that one random day, comments and shares get you three more entries in the drawing. So, and that's on either the Facebook group or the Facebook business page. So I check both of those too. Um, and comments and shares on the business page for a Facebook Live account as well. So lots of ways to enter to win the, I don't know why I can't remember, the floral romance seals. So stinking cute. So let's see, we use, yes, yes, maybe that's what I'm thinking of too. That's why they look a little bit irregular, the melting wax. Yes, like they're not they're not perfect. They're all the same, but anyway, super cute, right? Okay, so that's what we will draw for next week. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, do you guys know, I have to tell you, so um, just today, Stampin' Up! has kind of been warning us, well, um, like, you know, telling us in anticipation, right, that they are going to release some new celebration items. So as demonstrators, and where's my list? Because I 
just got a chance to really kind of peek at things this well they just came out this morning so as demonstrators we can order if you're a demonstrator and if you're not a demonstrator just buy the starter kit like today and then you're a demonstrator and then you can pre-order this stuff too right you might even be able to pre you might even be able to order these things i bet in your starter kit too if you wanted to so hi kim how are you everybody's saying hello to each other that's so cute um, okay, so these are the new, there are how many? Well, I'll just tell you. There's an all adorned stamp set, which I, I haven't seen that one yet. I'm gonna be really honest with you. I got back, I go work out in the morning and then um, had to make sure I was all ready to go for this. Hopped on my computer real quick before I got in the shower and got ready. So I am not super familiar. I'm gonna be very, very honest with you guys, but I know, so there's a new stamp set called All Adorned. It, there's probably a picture of it somewhere because we can order them, so I'm sure we can see it, but I didn't see it yet this morning. There's another um, country floral embossing folder, so that's awesome. Yes, very exciting, huh, Sandra? Um, there is some painted, a painted seasons stamp set. Now I did share a video because there's a bundle. This is a little bit different too. They're bundling the painted season stamp set and the painted, I painted for all seasons, maybe designer series paper. Anyway, there's a stamp set and a designer series paper that are going to be bundled together the way I understood it. Um, and right now what's kind of funny is like as a demonstrator, we buy these things. So there are prices associated with them. Um, rather than you know get it for free with a fifty or a hundred dollar order, but I'm kind of thinking maybe that bundle would be one of those um, hundred dollar you know spend a hundred dollars and get that bundle for free. But we will know more. I will definitely have this all figured out by next Friday um, to be able to educate everybody on what's going on. So. Um, I think that's it. So all adorned stamp set, country floral embossing folder, painted season stamp set, painted for, I think it was all seasons, designer series paper, and then a painted seasons bundle, which includes that stamp set and designer series paper. Now the kind of interesting thing is the way I understood it is there are gonna be some dies, some big shot dies that will coordinate with the painted seasons stamp set. But I kind of got the impression that wasn't um, a um, celebration item. Maybe you'd order that separately. I don't know. So anyway, basically to kind of uh, wrap it up, I guess I would say there are going to be new things that you can get free with a $50 order starting February 15th. So again, if you're a demonstrator or if you buy the starter kit, you can get these items right now. Um, and up through the 14th of February. And then starting on February 15th, if you're a customer, when you put your 50 or $100 order in, you can get these items for free. So I'm gonna be ordering these and we'll start playing with them and I'll be showing you guys fun things and I'm sure you're gonna see lots and lots of other project ideas out there. Hi, Sarah, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Um, I will tell you, um, especially because the UPS has had such a difficult time even delivering in the cold and all the snow. Um, so it takes like at least a week for me to get an order. Sometimes it's longer than that. So as soon as I get these things, I will start playing with them. But I'm sure you're going to start seeing people that live closer to Salt Lake City getting these things way before I do and posting things. Some people even overnight them, which I tend to not. That's that's not in my budget to overnight these things, uh, but that's okay. You'll be seeing lots of ideas and we'll share them on here too. So yeah, that's awesome. So if you haven't gotten everything you wanted out of the original, hi Nikki, how are you? Um, out of the new or the original Celebration Catalog, do that, right? And then you've got um, probably a month and a half to get these items. Although like, that's another thing I should mention. I have it in my notes somewhere, um, but uh, where's my catalog? For celebration, there are a couple of items that have sold really, really, really well. Um, one of them being the, it's funny now I'm like, where are they? Okay, so the foil sheets. Um, oh, let's see, what's Karen saying? Me too, it looked really nice on the video. Oh, mom, yeah, yeah, oh, that's right. Did I say that right? I shared the video that had the new celebration Painted um, season stamp set and designer series paper. Hi Gwen, how are you? I hope everything's good with you. Um, yeah, so anyway, check out that video because that shows you some of the new um, celebration items that you can get free with your 50 or $100 order again starting um, February 15th. Hi Erica, oh my gosh, all these fun new people are on. I'm so glad you guys can join us. Um, okay, so back to what I was saying. The grapefruit, ooh, that glare. What if I go on this side? Is it better over there? Ugh. 
All right, do we have to move the table already? I think you're gonna be okay right now. Oh, there, there we go. So the Grapefruit Grove and Lovely Lipstick, that, um, those foil sheets. Hi, Amy Jo. Um, those have sold really, really, really well, so they said there's a very good chance that those are gonna sell out. So if you haven't put your $50 order in to get the Grapefruit Grove and Lovely Lipstick foil sheets, do that as soon as you can, because you don't wanna miss out on those. And then the other item that has sold really, really, really well is this Precious Parcel Card Kit. Can I get it? Oh my gosh, this glare. Always, I'm always complaining about the glare. Anyway, that Precious, precious Parcel Card Kit is another one that if you're wanting that, get your order in. It's a $50 order. You can get this free with your $50 order. So they're trying to keep you know everybody updated on those things. Um, I just don't want people to miss out on them. So get your orders in. I will give you the host code in just a few minutes so that you can get your freebie from Celebration. You can get your freebie from me. You get your name entered into the drawing. All these fun things, right? Okay. Um, so let's see. I think we are ready to do our drawing for... This is the Vibrant Vases stamp set. So anybody that put an online order in last week of at least, it's only $30, right? You get your name in the drawing to win this awesome Vibrant Vases stamp set. We gave this away at um, Bingo the other night too. And I, I bought it for so many giveaways and I'm like, oh, I really need to get that stamp set. I wanna play with it too. So, okay, hi Liz, oh my gosh. So everybody's at home, right? All stuck in their houses because of the super cold probably, right? Okay, so shaking these around and here we go. Let me make sure there's you, Erica. Hi. Um, let's see. The winner is Miss Tammy Mitchell. You have been a lucky girl. You cannot even see that. I can see it like almost in a glare. I don't know. Okay. But anyway, it says Tammy Mitchell on here. So Tammy, I will get this stamp set sent out to you. Yay. Congratulations. Congratulations. So this week, haha, we are gonna give away, do you guys remember, it's been a couple of weeks now, but we used the Big Shot embossing mats. I'm gonna try to show you these. So these are the mats that when you um, put a framelit in here and it tells you the layering, cause it's a little bit different depending on what you wanna do, but you can emboss with your framelits when you use the Big Shot embossing mats. So this is the item, the Big Shot embossing mats. This is what we're gonna give away with at least a $30 order online this week. So anytime between now and next Wednesday, if you put that online order in, use the host code I'll give you in just a few minutes, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the Big Shot embossing mats. And these are awesome. This is like, it kind of opens up a whole new world of possibilities because you have your framelits and then you can do, like normally, you can only emboss with embossing folders, right? But now with the embossing mats, you can emboss with all your framelits too. So it is super, super cool. And I'm trying to remember what I even, I know we showed um, a few weeks ago, but I can't even remember what it was now. Isn't that awful? So anyway, whoo, like that's how it is these days. Um, all right, I think, what else do we wanna talk about? Oh, I know, um, where are my other notes? So I know I've been telling you guys about the crafting retreats that are coming up. Um, let me make sure that I give my dates correctly. So I, and I've kind of emailed about it. And so I've been giving some incentives. Um, if you are interested in signing up for, for example, the spring crafting weekend is March 15th through the 17th in Lansing, Michigan. If you sign up for that, um, and actually the incentive ends tomorrow on Saturday, February 2nd. If you sign up and either pay in full or at least put your deposit down for um, that weekend crafting retreat, you are gonna get an extra gift from me in your goodie bag for signing up and paying early, right? Because we're trying to get a better idea of how many people are gonna be coming. So we've started doing these incentives to get you to sign up a little bit earlier so we know um, how many people are actually gonna be there. So, and I will include the link for the, all of the information as far as the weekend retreat. Basically, you can get there at like four o'clock on Friday afternoon. You have all night Friday, which I tend to stay up super late. So maybe 4 p.m. to like one or two o'clock in the morning. So that's a huge chunk of time. Then you have all day Saturday and then Sunday, whatever time you get up until I we pack everything up at about noon but you can stay in the room till about two o'clock that day so it's a huge weekend tons of time to get lots and lots of stuff done and then like I said if you sign up by tomorrow um, 
and, and make your at least your deposit if not pay in full um, then you get a special gift from me in your goodie bag so and then along those same lines oh actually and also if you bring a new like a first-time friend to the crafting weekend you are gonna get an extra celebration item so when you sign up for the weekend retreat you automatically get a celebration item um, but then you're actually going to get an extra one if you bring a new friend for the weekend. So let me know if you have any questions on that. I'd love to get you guys signed up for the weekend crafting retreat. And then we have the one day crafting retreat. That's right here in Alma on Saturday, April 20th. It's 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's still a great day to get a ton accomplished. We spoil you in both of these cases. You get a goodie bag. We make all your food for you. We bring all of our supplies so that you can use all our big shot stuff, all our stamps, all our punches. So you just bring what you want to work on and then if you need some extra things from us, we have it all there for you. Um, so the one day retreat, like I said, is Saturday, April 20th from 9 to 9. And again, if you um, sign up and pay in full by Saturday, March 23rd. You're going to get an extra gift from me in your goodie bag as well. So I'll post both of those links if you want more information, pricing and timing and all of that. Um, or if you have any questions, just comment or send me a message or an email about that. Okay? So I'd love to have as many people as possible come those weekends and the one day. They're both so much fun. You meet new people. Everybody's always sharing their ideas. Um, and it's just a great kind of like a way to get stuff done too, which I'm always all about getting stuff done. So, <laughs> all right, one sec. I'm feeling this tickle in my throat. I gotta grab a sip of water. And let's see what is next. Gotta get out. I moved into that glare and I can't see what I'm doing, but I think we are good. Oh, I know. So, I mentioned that we had bingo. We were supposed to do it like on the 23rd, but the snow was really bad last week and then it's been like even worse this week. I feel like, anyway, we rescheduled it. We did have bingo locally here in Alma um, this past Wednesday, but I have had some people that expressed interest. Hi, Mary Ellen, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. Um, I have had some people express interest in online bingo. So I've been doing some research on that. Um, I am hoping to get something scheduled, but I'm kind of asking now how many people are really, really, truly interested. I am looking at a couple of different dates. So the first date I was looking at was Thursday, February 21st. So that's coming up pretty quickly. If I do that one, um, I believe I would charge $40. We would play bingo. You would have make and takes. The big thing is I need I need RSVP and prepayment by, I think I figured out by Monday the 11th of February because I have to get your bingo boards and your make and takes together and shipped to you so that we can all do them together online, um, like through the online bingo kind of a thing. So I'm still working out the details, but if you're interested and you think that Thursday, February 21st would work for you, either comment here or shoot me a message or send me an email. The other date I am looking at is Tuesday, March 5th. Um, I'm so glad you can join us, Mary Ellen. This is awesome. I love having fun, fresh, new faces. Not that I don't like the old people that have been here for a while. I love you guys too, and I totally appreciate your support, but I love um, seeing new people on here as well. So, okay, Nikki, you're interested. Awesome. Okay, well, I will get some more details. I believe, and I have to kind of work some things out, but the biggest thing is I need to include like possible shipping cost in my fee, so that's why I'm thinking it's gonna be a $40 fee, because if you win something, then I need to get it shipped out to you, so I've gotta kind of include that in my pricing as well. Um, but I'm gonna do some more research this weekend, and I will let you know for sure, and by next week, I'll know what I'm doing, so. Sorry, I think that like totally, when, when I get a call, I think it like blanks out on a sec there. So, um, so Marianne, I don't know if you understood, but I think I'm going to try to do an online one. So Sandra, the way I think I'm going to do it is, oh, you're at the dentist. Hi, Philomena. I'm glad you can join us. We're talking about online bingo. So what I would do is I would um, get bingo boards together for you and send those out to you. So you actually play bingo like right like i don't know if i'm going to do it on facebook live those are the details i still have to figure out but maybe i'll make like a separate group and we'll all hop on a facebook live and do it that way but then i'll also have copies of your bingo boards right there too so when you like comment hey i got a bingo then i can 
do a double check, right, just to make sure. Um, and then you'll win that prize. And then that's what I'll need to get shipped out to. And then we'll also do some make and takes too. So like I said, I gotta work out the details, but I think it would be really fun. And I know I've had people that have been anxious and wanting to participate. So now I'm just trying to gauge like real true level interest. Um, Cause I need to have probably I'm thinking like at least eight people that really want to play bingo online in order for the numbers to work because otherwise you get teeny tiny prizes if you don't have enough money you know to get big prizes and then I don't know it doesn't seem quite as much fun so anyway let me know if you're interested in that online bingo okay um do, do, do. one more quick reminder about simple beautiful card class that is coming up on Wednesday, February 13th from 6 to 8.30 or Friday the 15th in the afternoon from 1 until 3. If you're local, we make four cards. It's either a $20 fee or you put an order in and your cards are free. Now I have the host code because so I keep been, I've been like talking about this. If you put an online order in and use this host code and I will post this on my blog too. It's also in any email that I send out about the Simple Beautiful card class. But if you use host code, it's UB u v k 7 x r if you put at least a 40 dollar order in the four cards that we make at class on wednesday the 13th and friday the 15th i will send those to you as a thank you for your order and you can do that every single month if you want to get all four cards that we make every single month in class put your order in using the host code that i give you and you can get those cards as well so but if you're local come see me come hang out with me come play we're playing with lots of new stuff um either way right if you're local or you want to do the online order we're playing with lots of new stuff from the occasions and celebration catalogs so okay um let's see i think we are we gonna move i want to show you let's i'm gonna show you guys these are some cute cards hopefully you guys have been enjoying the um product of the week that we've been doing i've been having like like i said i've been having so much fun with those things because it really helps me focus on kind of one stamp set or product or suite of products in some cases so and this is still i think probably through all of celebration it will be my most favorite um, stamp set, which actually didn't even bring it over here. Isn't that funny? But the um, Hello Cupcake stamp set. So I have um, some swaps. I think I mentioned to you that I participated in a swap earlier um, in January and I got those swaps back. So I'm going to be showing you guys, hopefully, kind of as they relate to the product of the week, I'll share these with you. But let me show you. So here's the first one and I know it's going to be backwards. Oh, you know what? Maybe I do need to um, turn it down because I don't think it'll be so bad. Let's do that. We're going to turn, I'm going to turn the camera down. Um, I love to be able to talk and show you guys these this way, but you're not going to be able to see them very well today. You know, we love the sun, but it's so low right now. So anyway, okay. So turn your heads away for a sec. Um, let me just do a quick double, triple check to make sure. But yeah, I think... I think we've gone through everything. Okay, so turn your heads away. I'm going to show you these swaps that relate to our um, product of the week, the Hello Cupcake stamp set, if I didn't say that before, and then we'll do some stamping. Okay, so bear with me one sec while we flip the camera. Okay. All right. Then there we go. Okay. It's still a little bit bright, isn't it? Are we going to beat the sun today? Ooh, boy. <laughs> I'm glad someone likes this. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, boy. Did I move it enough? My chair. I didn't move my chair out of the way. I'm afraid. Okay, sorry, ladies. One moment, please. I'm trying to get that glare in the corner there. I think we're good now. Okay, so for a few moments. So here are, these are what I, hi, Roseanne. How are you doing? Um, let's move that over a little bit. Let me get things straightened out. There, I think we're good. There, okay, now, <laughs> here we go. So this is a card, who is this one from? Oh, from Tracy Hughes at Almond Adventures. That's so cute. Um, so she did, and, and somebody asked me on the Facebook group, there is not a die that cuts out this frosting. She just fussy cut probably 20 some of these on her swap. Um, so cute, but then she kind of through the middle there, she used some of that polka dot tool ribbon. Yeah, much better, I agree, Karen. And then the corrugated embossing folder, I love that too. So super cute, simple card, right? 
And then, let's see, which one do I wanna show you next? This is another cute one, this Celebrate Your Day, right? So she stamped with the little, there's like a kind of a medium-sized flower and then that teeny tiny baby flower, she kind of stamped all around there. Use some of those Gingham Gala sequins. That sentiment, the Celebrate Your Day, is right from that stamp set. And I love her color combination with the gorgeous grape. Um, I'm thinking that might be Pool Party. And then um, Lemon Lime Twist. So super cute, right? And then here's another one. And this is kind of a fun color combo that I probably would not have put together with the Highland Heather. And I think that that is lovely lipstick. But here's another cute one, right? So she did her stamping. And I love, oh my gosh, this makes me want to eat a cupcake, really. Um, I have to show you this one. Oh, I forgot to mention. Here, this one, this Celebrate Your Day card was made by Sue Coleman at Stamp with Susan. Oh, that's her email maybe at Comcast.net. Okay, she might not have a blog. Not everybody does have blogs. Um, but this one, I should tell you that too. Oops, it's upside down. This one is from Michelle Suit. S-U-I-T is her name. I'm trying to see if she has a blog. Um, nope, it looks like maybe just a shop and an email. Um, so yeah, like I said, not everybody has a blog, but look at how cute. Do you guys see? And I love how that kind of, these folds, you know, where it's not like the full card. It's not a boring card. You know, that's not really what I want to say, but I love, these are just a little bit more exciting because you get a little peek right there too with her stamping. And there's that cute little flower. I don't know why I love these flowers. That little flower, a little bit bigger flower. I love the little poker guy with the um, heart sticking out of it too and some of the ribbon that I really do believe you're going to be able to get if you if you um, make sure to stay on top of things on our group. I'll make sure to post on there too, but this ribbon is going to come back for a little while. So if you didn't get this ribbon during celebration, get your $50 order ready so you can get that ribbon as soon as it becomes available again. It's not going to be until probably another couple of weeks. I feel like maybe end of February, beginning of March is what we're looking at, but I'll keep you posted. But anyway, another super cute card, right? Again, I love how that one opens up. And then here's another one. This one, the Celebrate Your Day. It is a great set, isn't it, Philomena? Um, yeah, I. <laughs> it's funny, you guys maybe are getting sick of it. I don't know if I've showed it much. I feel like I've played with it quite a bit. Um, but this one is made by Gail Smith. Um, and yeah, again, oh yeah, she does. It says gail-rubberandink.blogspot.com. So yeah, you can check out Gail's blog as well. I love this the striped ribbon works really well too. You can see people were using that quite a bit. This is the Bermuda Bay mini striped ribbon and this is the gorgeous grape mini striped ribbon with that tailored tag punch. Fits around those sentiments really nicely too. And some of our Gingham Gala paper, right? The designer series paper. So some more cute ideas with our um, product of the week right there. And then this um, is kind of a um, sneak peek. I guess if you're coming to scrapbook classes, this is another thing that happened this week. We were supposed to have scrapbook class on Tuesday, which is always the last Tuesday of the month, but with the snow and the cold and the blowing and the drifting, we rescheduled. So hopefully next week on Tuesday is gonna work. Well, we're gonna have it and hopefully everybody, I think the weather's gonna cooperate. But so, cause normally I don't like to show, this happened last week too, cause I showed you um, the projects that we were gonna make at Bingo that was supposed to have already happened, but then we had to reschedule. So same thing is happening here. We were supposed to have made these pages on Tuesday, and then I'm gonna show you today on Friday, but now we're not making them until next Tuesday. So my point is if you're in scrapbook class and you don't want the surprise to be ruined, maybe like turn your heads away for a couple minutes while I show these pages that we're gonna make. And I'm not gonna show all of them actually. I'm just gonna show one of our two page spreads because it of course features our product of the week as well. And I think I did maybe even post these online too. My phone is really, isn't that funny? The mount is all crooked. Like this is really crooked for me when I'm looking at it, but it feels pretty straight for you guys. So you may notice I actually pulled this element right off of a card that I made. I love to do that. 
um, first of all, because it kind of cuts down on timing and also um, because, you know, cards only kind of are around for so long where scrapbook pages can be a around for a really long time. So if I love what I've done on a card, I love to put that element on a scrapbook page and then it's preserved on here too. So we've got some of our Gingham Gala um, designer series paper, the Lemon Lime Twist. There's that stripey ribbon, the Bermuda Bay stripey ribbon, and then some of those cute little flowers that are stamped right in the top and the bottom of those. And then our sweet wishes, I love to layer that. And then here is the other, kind of the, this is our, right, we've got one page there and another page there. So here's our second page with more of our Gingham Gala. This is the Highland Heather paper. Oh, let's see, Karen is saying, but we love, <laughs> yes, so Karen came, uh, she, you, Karen watched Facebook Live last week. She saw the cute little um, box that I was making for everybody, the little treat box, and one of the cards they were going to make as a make and take. She loved both of those on Facebook Live last Friday. Then she came to Bingo on Wednesday and was completely re-surprised and re-excited because she was getting the box that I showed last week and making one of the cards. So that's good. That's kind of how I would probably be do too, Karen. <laughs> you know, it's like it's in your brain and then it's gone. So I gotcha. You, you were excited all over again. I agree. So thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed those. So, and then I loved, so these little swirls are from the Swirly Scribbles Framelits. I have had, I must have used like the outside piece or something else. So I've had a bunch of these little things sitting on my craft table for forever. So when I was putting this card or uh, page together and I thought it needs something else, I looked over and saw these and I love like just grab that and pop it on. So it adds a fun little element. And then with the little balloons, we punch those guys out. This is some of the Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper from Celebration. There's that tailored tag punch and the celebrate your day with more of the cute little sequins. So those are a couple of the pages and examples, good ideas, good ideas for you. Now, do you guys know too that I always upload all the pictures of the projects that we make at our Simple Beautiful Car class and the scrapbook class at Bingo, basically any event I do, I try to upload those pictures to the albums on our Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. So you're gonna look, you click on, there's kind of over on the left-hand side, it says Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio at the top. On the left-hand side, there are kind of a bunch of different like labels or tabs. One of them is photos. So if you click on that, and then I think it's over here kind of across the top, you're gonna click on albums. And then there's a scrapbook album, there's a card album, there's like a treat, gift, idea album, lots of different albums in there with lots and lots of different ideas. So thank you, Marianne. I'm glad you like these pages. All right, let's see. I think we are ready to do, oh no, we have one more thing. So I have to show you guys, you know how I, I said a few weeks ago how much I love getting cards from people? Well, Miss Nikki, thank you. I got your card and this is so cute. This, I love this, so glad we are friends. And I'm so glad we're friends too, Nikki. Thank you, that just made my day. And the funniest thing was, I was like, well, where's that designer series paper from? And then I realized she stamped this. So isn't this beautiful? And a couple of different green tones with the pop of lovely lipstick. I love, Nikki, you're gonna have to tell me how you made that bow too. If you can see, it's kind of like it's looped and woven through, because here's one tail can you guys see right there and then another one right there so such a cute bow idea I have never made that bow either and then this is fun this is just kind of a panel of whisper white well it's from the card itself but then she's got another panel well gosh now how did you do that Nikki oh this is layered I see now I've got it oh that's cool okay so here's the card base right she stamped all over the front of it and then she laid this piece right on top and then tied the ribbon around it too. So very, very cool. So thank you, Nikki. I just love getting these cards. So, and I, like I said, I told you guys I would share them with everybody. And, and so I love that too, because this is something I've never um, made a card with that kind of design or format like that. So I love that. And I love sharing new ideas with people too. So thank you, Nikki. I really appreciate your card. It made my day yesterday when I opened that. And I knew, I was like, oh, perfect timing. I'm gonna show that on Facebook Live. So I'm glad I was able to do that. Okay, are you guys ready to do some stamping? Let me get my grid paper here. Okay, scoot up there. There's something really weird about how this is set up. <laughs> Sorry, you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, but. <laughs> Ooh, new host code too. Let me just 
kind of reiterate this, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, right? So if you put in an online order of at least $30 by next Wednesday, you're gonna receive the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a minute. And your name goes in the drawing to win the Big Shot embossing mats, right? Then, um, if you bump your order up to $50, you always, for you get a free embellishment for me. Right now you get a free celebration item too. You have to make sure to use, this is my new host code for February. So it's ZZY, or excuse me, ZZJYG9NU. And as I'm telling you this, I realize I still need to go into my blog and update that because it's got the old code on there. But in general, when you go to gatheringinspiration.com, that host code for the month is right there. So as soon as we get done with Facebook Live, I'm gonna go get that updated and then that'll be there and always good for you um, to know to put your order in. Just grab that host code and you get the free stuff and you get your name in the drawing and all kinds of good stuff, okay? So, oh, thank you, Nikki, you're very sweet. Um, okay, let's do our stamping. So I think I told you guys, right, that this um, stamp set, did I, have I, I've been like, I can't stop going on and on about this. I think, because I said it the other night at Bingo, because it's just like a sentiment stamp set, so it doesn't catch my eye at first, you know, like some of the other pretty like floral ones do. But this one has so many great sentiments. So I have to show you guys. Maybe I've already showed you these before, but I love them so much, it's worth showing you again, right? So a couple of weeks ago, we did a card with a let's get together and giggle. We've got, I'm so glad you are a part of my story. That's an awesome sentiment, right? Know that today a friend is thinking of you. How cool is that to put that on a card and send it to somebody, right? Uh, the world needs more people like you. We used that one on that cute little treat box last week. Today, we're gonna to use this one that says, here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. And then another one that says, you're my chosen family. So this is one of those celebration stamp sets. You can get it free with a $50 order. I'm telling you, if you have not gotten this yet, you are gonna want this set. I think mainly because these are sentiments that are, you don't have these, any of these yet, I'm sure of it. Um, these are sentiments that actually Stampin' Up! demonstrators from all over the world suggested and Stampin' Up! these are the ones that they picked to go in this stamp set. So I love that, that they're, they're not like anything else you have already. So it's another great way to say thank you and you're inspiring me and I'm thinking of you and let's be friends and oh, just so many great sentiments in here. So. Get that stamp set if you don't have it already. And if you don't know this already, after Facebook Live is done, I always go over to my blog and upload the projects with all of the item codes of everything that we've used to make these projects. So if you wanna make them too, everything is there that you need, you know, especially, so if you don't have something, order it, make sure you use that host code, and then you get all the freebie stuff too, okay? So this card, and I cannot honestly remember if I showed it to you or not already, but this is the card that we are gonna be making. I did it just a little bit different. Um, <laughs> you got it because of the giggle sentiment. Yes, that's so cute. And Karen's saying timeless sentiments. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I just love it. So hopefully you guys have it already. And if not, just make sure you get it before celebration ends. So this card was created by Kim's Creative Inklings. And I'm trying to see. I don't think she has a website either. A lot of people just have um, where to shop and their um, email address, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this card. Like I said, I did it a little bit differently because we made this one at Bingo the other night and I was telling the girls there that I love, you know, I make a lot of like multiples of cards. So this piece right here measures three inches by four inches. So on a 12 by 12 sheet, and it was funny because I was trying to do the math the other day, right? Three, six, nine, twelve. 12. Um, so I think you can make nine. Is that right? You can make, it's either nine or 12. I don't know why I'm having such a moment trying to calculate that. But you can, I think it's 12 actually. You can make 12 um, cards out of one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock when you cut this designer series paper three inches by four inches. Okay, so let me show you how we're gonna do it. And it's simple, right? I love to show these things too that don't always have to be really complicated. You can use punches and still make super cute projects, right? So, actually, let's see. Um, Highland Heather cardstock. Let me show you the, give you the dimensions first. 
I should have moved these. I should have done this first before I got everything out because I have to move it out of the way. Okay, so we have our cardstock, Highland Heather cardstock, measures eight and a half by 11. We cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches for our nice crisp fold on our card, okay? Then, let's see, I'm gonna put that right there. Like I said, this designer series paper measures the three inches by four inches, and then I have a piece of black cardstock that I'm mounting behind it just to make it really pop off my page that is three and one quarter by four and one quarter. And then these are just scrap pieces of Whisper White and Highland Heather cardstock so we can do our stamping and punching. So here we go. We've got my our, our Highland Heather ink. I'm going to open that ink pad up. So always, always, always the nice, easy tap, tap, tap. I see so many people push really hard, full body weight. You do not need to do that. Nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down and lift straight up. And I was like thinking, is that going to be upside down? But it doesn't really matter because we are going to punch that out. Okay. So scooting that aside, we are going to use whatever this label punch is called because I cannot think of it right now. Somebody will probably know it and be able to type in a comment to tell us. But anyway, this, I'm going to call it like a curly label punch. It's totally not the name, but that's what we're calling. And then here's another label punch that I can't remember the name of this one either. But we are just going to punch. We don't even have to do stamping on that one. I just wanted to kind of add a little bit of background on that one too. Okay, now let's see. We need some our snail and our dimensionals and I do have my ribbon all of a sudden I thought did I bring my ribbon so this is that celebration ribbon pretty label yes thank you Sandra pretty label punch and what's this one called <laughs> some other label punch right we've had that one for a while um, this celebration ribbon this is the Highland Heather ribbon I really do believe you're going to be able to get this again for another little bit this is the one that has the five bolts of ribbon I'm just going to kind of snip off a little piece right there for us and we can put things together so you see how simple this is but really it's this designer series paper it really um, adds so much to the card this beautiful and I love this blue the balmy blue with the everyday label punch thank you Jamie <laughs> I didn't even see you were on here thank you so much Jamie I appreciate that um, oh Kim saying the ticket punch I think it is the everyday label punch. Can maybe double check, but I think I think that might be it. That sounds right because the ticket one sounds like it would um, kind of punch like a little ticket hole in something. I don't. I can't remember for sure though. It's one of those label punches. It's in the annual catalog, and I will have the item code for us when I do my um, blog post over on GatheringInspiration.com. Okay, so we're just going to put that down there. Then I, um, I don't believe I did. Nope. Sometimes I generally don't like to put too many dimensionals, like put dimensionals behind this piece and that one, because then I think it pops it up too much. So let's see. We're going to put that guy right about there. Right? And I'm going to press down pretty well because we've got that ribbon behind there. And then I'm going to put some dimensionals behind my pretty label punched sentiment right the here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it and I love how just that little bit of Highland Heather pops out behind there just to kind of um, anchor it a little bit on there and then these are what are these called the share what you love artisan pearls so these came out a little while ago they were actually something that we could pre-order and they'll be doing that again move that where I want it there we go um, these were something that we could pre-order out of the annual catalog back in May of last year so they'll be doing that again we we'll able to get some fun new product from the next annual catalog not for a little while we've still got lots of fun time to play with our celebration and occasions catalog stuff but yes let's see oh Marianne saying she has to catch the rest catch the rest catch the rest later sorry my tongue is like too thick today. Got to pick up the grandson, huh? Oh, well, tell him I said hi and have a great time. <laughs> yes, and have a good weekend. And we'll uh, catch up with you later then, Miriam. So thank you for watching. So this is our first card. So you can see how simple, just with the paper, a little bit of ribbon and some punching, you can make a very cute card without 
a lot of work, right? Okay, so that's one of them. Let's scoot these guys out of the way. And then the other one, okay, get all of this. Okay, so this next one, ooh, I gotta find my glasses for this one too. Um, okay, let me just show you. Isn't this so cute? So of course I had to do a card that featured our product of the week, that Hello Cupcake stamp set. And I saw this, so this was cased straight away from a gal by the name of, where did it go? Um, her name is Diane Squires. Oh, we gotta move the table. Hold on one sec. We got one more move and we can get this one stamped before the the sun peeks in there even more. So yes, Diane Squires, I pulled this card right off of her blog. If you Google her name, Diane Squires, I'm sure you're gonna find her blog and this card. Because I kept looking, I was like, where did she get that designer series paper? Cause it's, you know, it's a little bit different. I thought maybe it was, I don't know, a pattern in something that I just hadn't come across. But no, what she did was she actually used a black marker and colored those lines in there to kind of give it a different look. So this is our Gingham Gala Designer Series paper with kind of a fun accent um, in that stripe. If you guys, can you kind of see that? Isn't that so cute? Kim's saying, yes, that's so cute. That's funny. So, okay, let me show you. We're gonna, I'm gonna give you dimensions and everything and then I'll show you how she did that. Very simple, but such a kind of a cute effect for it too. And this is another card that does not require the big shot. So two of them this week, I did a good job. I don't know why I kind of think that's so cool when we can do that, because it's so cute, right? It just shows you that um, you don't have to make complicated projects, I don't think, to make cute ones, right? Okay, and here we go again. I pulled everything out, now I wanna show you dimensions. Okay, well, let's see. We're gonna just move these up a little bit, right? So this is, um, what is this called? Lemon Lime Twist cardstock. I was having a moment there, okay? So we have our card base. My bo This is the boring card now. This is what I'm calling this with like the just the regular card base. But that's okay because we do cute stuff on the front. So we've got our eight and a half by 11 sheet of lemon lime twist cardstock. We cut it in half at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? Now, let me tell you guys about the other sizes. This is a piece of that Gingham Gala designer series paper that measures two inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then another piece, this is um, basic black cardstock, two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So this one is graduated down a half or a quarter of an inch. So this one is two and a half by three and a half inches, okay? And then just a little strip, this is whisper white cardstock that measures one inch by two and a half inches, okay? So let me find my glasses. So you can see I started this because I always think you guys don't want to watch the whole thing, right? But basically I've got my, ooh, where is my ruler? Yeah, we cannot do this without the ruler. One moment. I'm trying to see if there's anything else here that I can use. I have to go get my ruler. I can't believe I forgot that. Okay, I'll be right back. need a ruler for this one. There's really no other good way. I would totally make a mess of it. So basically, and I just kind of eyeballed it. I'm going to be really honest. I think um, the effect is that line. And if it's not totally perfect, I have a ruler that you can see through. So I think that's kind of helpful to see if you've got it um, in the middle or not. So I'm just going to take my black marker. And I did run it a couple of times because this one I think could use a little bit more ink. But this is all I did. So I just ran I'm gonna need to press straight down, there we go. Okay, and then find the middle and make a stripe through there, right? And one more. And I'm gonna make the stripe on that one. Oops, I don't think I went all the way down. There, so that's it. That's all you do, just make those cute little stripes in there. And it adds kind of a whole new look too. So can you guys kind of see that? Oops, let's see, there we go, yep. Isn't that awesome? I just love, I don't know, there's something about that, just the different look of it kind of changed everything for me. Oh, you know what else I wanna tell you guys too before I forget, because these colors, so I used Berry Burst Ink, um, Lemon Lime Twist is the name of the cardstock and the name of our ink pad. So these ink and um, cardstock and ribbon and all of that, the 2017, 2019 in colors, 
these are going to be retiring on May 31st, if not sooner when the um, retiring lists come out. So I'm kind of trying to give everybody a heads up a little bit early. If you need, so there's, oh gosh, am I gonna remember? Uh, Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, Powder Pink, Fresh Fig, and Tranquil Tide. Those are the five ink colors that are gonna be going away. So if you need the ink pads, if you need the ink refills, if you need more cardstock, if you need ribbon, if you need any of those things, start thinking about ordering it. You might as well order it during celebration if you wanna stock up on those things so you can get your free celebration item because you don't wanna wait until April, things all start selling out and then you don't get what you want. So be kind of, have that in the back of your mind, you know, in the next couple of weeks to, you know, six to eight weeks, get these things ordered so you don't have a problem when those retiring lists come out, okay? So, all right, back to our card. We are gonna do our stamping here. Um, so I actually used, I wanted to be a little bit lighter. Um, I, I couldn't quite tell for sure if Diane used a basic gray or um, the basic black, but I wanted to use the basic gray. I liked it a little bit lighter. I don't know why I thought the black was gonna be a little bit too dark. So we're gonna stamp that guy right there. Okay, I thought that might happen. Um, you know what, I bet our ribbon can cover that up. Let's go with that, we'll see if we can do that. I could kind of see as I was putting it down on the paper that I don't think I got it inked up quite as well. Okay, but that's gonna be all right. So now with our Lemon Lime Twist ink, actually, no, you know what else I need to do? Here, we have this other little layer in here too. We wanna use this one in our basic gray also. Oh, Nikki, I'm glad you like this idea. I'm assuming with the stripes, right? Yeah, so let's see. We're going to put a little bit more. Oh, my camera's right in the way. I'm trying to line that up there. I think that looks, yeah, that's pretty good, right? So just add a little layer there. Now we are going to put our frosting on the top here. That just kind of adds a little bit more height to our cupcake. And then we're going to put that one right about there. Okay. There, that's good. Now, I love the little pot. I had to have a little pop of color here. Um, so I chose the, what was this one? The Berry Burst. Yeah, I was trying to remember. Um, okay, so the little heart. We're going to do the little heart kind of poking out there. Man, I am not doing a very good job stamping. Okay, well, let's see. This is not going to work, I'm sure, but eh, it's not too bad. There, it's kind of a 3D, right? It is probably 3D. Okay, and then... The other thing, we're going to do our celebrate your day. Tap, tap, tap. Now I'm all worried I don't have enough ink. Let's see how that one went. There. Whew. Okay, good. Ended on a good note. Okay. And that is it for our stamping. So we can go ahead and start putting things together here. We're going to adhere our whisper white piece to our black base. Okay. Sometimes I feel like I should have music playing or something. Add a little, <laughs> a little something in the background. Right, okay, so now we're gonna put our designer series paper that we have put our stripes on. I love that, it's such a cool idea. You can do that with any of these, obviously. Any of the different colors in there. Okay, so we're gonna put some, oops, a few dimensionals on the back of this guy and peel those off all right these guys off of there okay so this we're going to just pop right about there oops i didn't have that down very well and then i was like oh maybe i didn't want it right there so there okay now for this one i actually put a dimensional on this side and then a little bit of adhesive on this side because I don't, I think it looks funny if it's, you know, kind of sticking up too high if you put dimensionals on both sides. So this one can go right there, right? So I've adhered it and then I've got my dimensional there. Then, of course, we have to add a little bit of bling and fun. So we're going to tie our ribbon. This is the Lemon Lime Twist Organdy Ribbon. I can't stop using it. I still have some. I'm going to move on, I promise, just so I don't tease too many people. But for the third time, I think I'll say, I bet you can still get this if you just pay attention and order as soon as it becomes available again if you need more. Okay, so there's our bow. 
and then we need a little mini glue dot. Okay. So let's put a little, where's the next glue dot? Apparently I need to pull that off a little bit, right? Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Am <laughs> I going to put that down there? Nah, eh, it's going to be all right. Did I get the, I don't think I got the glue dot after all that worrying about tearing this off there. Okay. Now I've got my glue dot. Do I? What is wrong? Okay. I <laughs> okay. Now I am positive. I have my glue dot. There we go. That's so crazy. That doesn't usually happen. It's a really good technique normally to put your ribbon right to the glue dot and it picks it right up. I don't know what my problem was that time, but there. Okay. So, oh, what else do we need? Now we need our, love these little, the Happiness Blooms enamel dots. So I'm using the pink. I think they're lovely lipstick, but I think they can kind of be considered either color. The pink works, right? Okay. So I'm going to grab one of the biggest ones and put him maybe right about there. I kind of used all three of the sizes. And then a medium one. I am, um, hmm. This should work a little bit better for me. There's something, something's being funny today. There we go, okay. And I think I put that ribbon up a little bit too. We'll just put one there and then more and more of the little babies. It's like I can't get underneath that as well as I normally do. Maybe, right, we'll put that one right there. There, okay. So there we go, ladies. What do you guys think? Aren't these cards cute? I love that stripe on there too. So lots and lots of fun. So don't forget if you don't have the 2017-19, <coughs> excuse me, those colors, <coughs> make sure you order them soon. One quick sip of water. Mm. Oh, because I just don't want anybody to miss out on anything, right? Okay, so let me clear things away here. <coughs> It's that time of year where I get those tickles in my throat. So again, just to recap, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, right? If you put that minimum $30 order in by next Wednesday, you are gonna get both of these projects. I'll send you these as a thank you for your order. And your name also goes in the drawing to win the Big Shot embossing mats, right? Make sure you use the host code, the ZZJYG9NU. And if you bump your order up to $50, I always send you a free embellishment. Um, this past month, I believe, was these Happiness Blooms enamel dots. So everybody that put an online order in, um, in January, got the Happiness Blooms enamel dots. Plus, you also get a free celebration item right now, too. So thank you guys so much. Oh, Nikki, I'm glad you like that. That is kind of a fun color combination, isn't it? Yes. Um, and Sandra, yes, I'm glad you can join us back again. So Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope your weather warms up if you've been freezing cold and um, that you yeah, survive the weekend. And yeah, I'll see you guys next Friday. So thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.